Direction south now to Monroe County and the Florida Keys, uh, really the hardest hit when you were talking about South Florida and Hurricane Irma. And we do have Monroe County Administrator Roman Gustasi joining us now on the phone. Uh, thanks for joining us. I want to start uh, with the worst, and that is, of course, uh, death. So do you have a, a death toll that you can share with us? We uh, heard of a possible heart attack in Shark Key. Can you confirm that or any other deaths? Yes, I think that seemed to be the case. I don't know if it was a heart attack, but it seems some, of some kind of natural, casual, uh, natural causes, yes. All right, Roman, just on a personal note here, before we get into too many other specifics, I just want to know, because we've been talking to you leading up to the storm, you were very much vocal telling people that they should absolutely evacuate. Just how are you feeling? How's the family after riding out this incredible storm? I know you guys went up to the upper keys, but some of the people you know and love stayed down in the middle and lower keys. Well, we've heard from, we've heard from most people, and uh, so we're feeling pretty good about that. We we haven't heard from everybody, so we're, we are a little concerned. Uh, we're on our way down there. Uh, crews um, were able to get far as far as marker 39 last night. Uh, there's a big pole there in the way, and then down by Sugarloaf, which is about mile marker 16, the folks coming up from. Uh, saw some roads that are pretty bad shape. Uh, so we're going to get to get those fixed up this morning and uh, so we can start this recovery process. You talk about the crews being stopped at mile marker 39 there because of the conditions, uh, but there is a roadblock uh, also preventing people from getting down there. And I'm sure many people are anxious to get back down and get a check on their homes and businesses. W why the roadblock and, and how long can we expect this to go on for? Okay, the two main reasons uh, that all the bridges need to be cleared uh, by FDOT, that they're passable and that they're in good shape. Uh, uh, the initial inspections seem to be okay, but we're not the pros. Uh, they're the pros. They need to do that. That's their responsibility. And as soon as they say it's it's passable, um, then by that time the, the streets should be clear enough for passage, um, and then we'll start letting people in. Uh, we understand people's frustration, and we're very sorry. But give us a little bit of time. This is this is the first hour or two of daylight that we've had since uh, this the storm passed. And Roman, I also understand it's going to take some time to sort of inspect the the aqueduct there in Monroe County. The water supply, what can you tell us? I know leading up to the storm, we always tell people load up on bottled water, fill up as many uh, bottles of water, freeze water if you can. Are, is there a concern right now for the residents of Monroe County as far as water is concerned? Sure, sure. We haven't had running water since yesterday or electricity in most of the keys. Um, so, you know, the aqueduct's working, you know, as fast as they can to get it re resolved, and hopefully they'll be able to, you know, fix the water system here soon. But if I could follow up on that, you know, it might take a, a while to repair any issues with the aqueduct. So how do you get water to the people down there? If, if some of these people decided to stay. That tells me that maybe they didn't prepare as many as much as those uh, who perhaps uh, were going to uh, go out and take their supplies with them, et cetera. So they might be in need of bottled water. And we're looking at images here of the roads and the conditions. So if you can't get down there and the, it takes a long time to repair the aqueduct, how do you get water to these people? Well, we, uh, we, we've got the, you know, all the resources coming down. We've already seen a, f a few helicopters fly over us this morning, and we're getting uh, the, the, all the state, federal, and local authorities are helping us. So we'll get some water to them to, as far as for drinking water. It might be a while, and I, I don't know. That's for the aqueduct to tell you, but for the running water. But we'll, we'll get them some drinking water. And, again, that's why we talk every year about have, being prepared, having your three or four days of water and those kind of things. So here, this is it. This is, this is the real deal. And, Roman, I saw an email. It came into our newsroom last night in the 6 o'clock hour, so I'm curious to know if there are any updates or if this has already happened about some sort of an airborne relief mission to take supplies to the people down in Monroe County. Has that happened? Is that going to happen? And how is that all going to work? Uh, well, we're coordinating that right now. We, we've, uh, I have a plan that we work on, you know, every year, and we're implementing that plan. And yes, we will be bringing down equipment. All right, uh, talking about the damage, and, and again, we're seeing all these images. Uh, really, it, we're, we have everybody in the Keys uh, in our thoughts this morning because it looks like the worst of it is uh, down there, whether it's a smashed car or a, a home that has been completely destroyed or a business because we were looking at Snappers, uh, which has been completely destroyed. And it's not about the physical damage to those buildings, but also what, how this affects the people there. Uh, in, in the case of Snappers, of course, uh, all those employees were now without a job. But if we can focus on the damage that we're seeing in the area between Kujo Key and, and Marathon. What do we know about the damage there uh, and about trying to get uh, a check on the people in that area? 
Uh, we've got some folks uh, there now. Uh, they're helping the folks, and they're, they're trying to clear the streets. And uh, that's probably, I guess, what the, what's known as ground zero, if you will. That was the, 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 the war spot. And, um, you know, I'm very confident that, uh, you know, we'll be able to handle this challenge. And, you know, the Keys are a very resilient community. We'll, we'll be fine. I mean, this is the cost of living in, in paradise. If I can follow up on that really quick, you said you have people down there right now, and that's the worst of the worst. What exactly are they doing? Are they going home to home? Is it a matter of, like, digging through debris to see if there's anybody down there? Or paint the picture for us of what's happening in that area. Right, right now it's a sweep, and it's, it's hard to get through the streets. So we have crews pushing as much of the material off the streets so we can get in there, see who's out and about. Uh, and we will do house-by-house house damage assessments. Uh, but right now is the initial push. Remember, it's only been about a, an hour of daylight. So um, it's, been, uh, it's been a long night for our crews. And now we, we start the process of uh, rebuilding our community. And Roman, we were concerned when you told us uh, the other day as the storm approached that these shelters of last resort were not going to be staffed and, and that it was pretty much everyone on their own there. How did those shelters hold up and how did the people inside of those shelters fare throughout this storm? Well, I'm going I'm to assume that it went well. I know we had a lot of people in Key West, and about 500 people ended up showing up down in Key West, uh, and about 100 or so in each of the other ones. So, um, we, you know, they, 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 I guess it worked out. You know, see, people were on their own. They, they didn't expect any services, and um, so I, didn't, I haven't heard of any issues. I know it's early, but can you paint a picture of the economic impact uh, to the Keys uh, at this point from what you've seen and, and the reports that you've gotten from throughout uh, the chain of Keys? I'm sorry, it's way too early. I mean, yeah. it's just way too early. Give, give us a little time. Uh, and to that end, uh, it may be early to discuss this, but the owners of Snappers is already saying that he plans to rebuild the restaurant. Just talk a little bit about the resilience of the people in Monroe County, the conks down in Key West, as they like to call themselves. Uh, you, you see them rebuilding and cleaning this up and just moving on with their lives in this paradise to our south, right? Oh, absolutely. I was talking to Elliot yesterday, and, you know, we go back to the, to the Hurricane uh, Andrew. And then the floods of '99 and the floods of 2000, and you know South Florida in general. We're a very resilient community. We live in paradise. We understand that this is the cost of living in paradise. Uh, we, we know every year, uh, come May or June, beginning of uh, hurricane season, to prepare. Uh, it's, it's something that that we all know. So we will rebuild. There's no doubt. And this is a uh, you know this too shall pass. And as far as those people who stayed behind, whether at the shelter or in their homes. Uh, as you approach these people now and, and try to get them help, it might be a while uh, before they uh, can pull their lives back together. Is there a plan in place to help these people? Can they stay at the shelters of last resort a little longer? What kind of assistance can you offer these folks who stayed behind? Uh, we're, we're working on that. Yes, the, the, uh, the, the shelters are, are, are short term. And then we have last time, for example, for Wilma, we brought in trailers temporary trailers for them to put in front of their homes while they rebuild their homes. Um, that's, not, that's something you've seen throughout all these events, so we'll probably be doing things like that. All right, Roman Gustasi, we want to thank you not just for speaking with us now, but really in the lead up to this storm as well. You were very vocal trying to protect the people of Monroe County, so we certainly appreciate all the time you have given us. And now we know you got to get to work, you got a long road ahead, but we wish you nothing, with the, nothing but the best. Yes, can I give you a quick update what we're doing with the emergency operations Absolutely. Center? Yeah, what we're doing now is uh, the, the majority of the folks have, have just left. They left here at the Upper Keys and they're working their way down to Marathon. Most likely we're going to set up at the Marathon Airport. Uh, the airport's in pretty good shape. They're going to finish cleaning it up this morning as far as the runway. That's where a lot of the assets will be coming in that we were just talking about. But there's no communication down there. So we're going to set up a satellite communication system that will give us telephone and Internet service. So in the meantime, I'm staying up here until they set up set that up. Uh, so uh, right now, uh, for the next few hours, I'm all you got. <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you go, you get your crew set up uh, wherever they can get to, get your comms up, and that's uh, the only way you'll be able to mobilize uh, all these crews, uh, which you're going to need uh, to get down there and, and get to work. So we understand. Thanks for your coverage. All Thank right, you. Roman. Thank you so much for your time. And really his commitment to the people of Monroe County. He has was one again, the vocal ones all throughout this, warning people to evacuate. Then when the time came, warning them where to go to those shelters and now saying 
that's it. We're gonna we're gonna get things going. We're gonna get the help to the people um, they need. And so. we heard from him, and we also heard from the sheriff who decided yeah. to stay behind. Although he told his deputies, "You got to get you out go. there because we're gonna need you after the fact." That I'm sure that uh, probably right now at uh, almost 7:20 in the morning, They're those calls are starting to, get to go back. 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 <laughs> yeah, to, to get them back in there and, and try to assist. So we wish them all the best. All right.